So, I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm now behind the scenes with uh, Paradigm's uh, Paramotor Acro team. Uh, you can see they're over there somewhere getting ready to do their thing, but uh, they're gonna put a show on tonight. It's gonna be awesome. So, tomorrow I'm gonna hang out with these guys and learn more about paramotoring and learn what it takes to learn how to do it. But for tonight, it's just like, let's check out the air show. what it looks like or sounds like in reverse. Day two, Oshkosh 2019. Headed to the ultralight runway to hang out with the aviator paramotor dudes. For me at night when the sun's about to set, it's kind of a, a really magical place that I don't think a lot of people know about. So you can see the field's already doing its thing. Got the windsock, everyone's flying. Excited to see those guys. What's up? Hey What's man, up? how's, how's it going? going? So this is my Evil Knievel edition, I call it. It's a Paratip uh, Maverick uh, Pro with the uh, white frame, red hoop, blue bars. It's kind of ridiculous looking, but uh, they made it special for me and I love it. What I love about ultralights in general is just the fact that it really makes things accessible. We can fly. When you go get in an airplane and you have that experience, it could be challenging, it could be incredible. I love my, I have two airplanes. I love to fly. I've flown my airplanes more than I've flown paramotors this month. When you step your feet off the ground in an ultralight, whether it's a fixed wing ultralight, especially a paramotor, you get to experience that wind in your face. It's what you dream about. Not very many people have a childhood dream of getting in an airplane and starting it and flying somewhere. No, they have a childhood dream of running into the sky. And that's what I get to do every day. And it's, it's really, truly the most freedom the most fulfillment, it just, it feels like what you were meant to be doing. You strap this thing on your back, you lay out your paraglider behind you, you run forward a few steps, a wing comes overhead, you add power, and off you go into the wild blue yonder. I truly believe that as humans, we're designed to challenge ourselves and push ourselves and grow who we are. As we grow older, we grow, have families, we have businesses, we have employees, we have people that we need to serve and take care of. If we're not taking care of ourselves, whether it's through any form of self-care uh, or through flight, we can't truly serve their needs. I call it filling your cup up so you can pour into others, right? You have that concept where you, your cup drains and drains and drains because you're constantly helping others. This is how I fill my cup. This is how I get to, to feel energized, to feel like I'm the man I'm meant to be. Okay, so that was awesome to meet Eric, but then he said, I've got to learn how to kite one of these things, one of the wings, and I'm nervous. Ah! I told them I didn't want to look foolish, and they said everybody does the first time, and that I'm supposed to suck at it. So I guess, <laughs> I guess that's, uh, it's gonna be fun though, right? It's gonna be fun, to kite a wing, it's gonna be fun. All right, so this is Andrew. Hi, guys. Hey, Andrew's going to teach me how to kite today. Yep. You told me that I should be okay with being bad at this. Yep. We're all supposed to suck in the beginning. It's kind of part of the process, you know? If you didn't, if you were already good at it, what would you be here needing lessons for? You know? I, that's a good, okay, okay. 
being bad at it, failing at it is part of the process. You know, that's how we learn from our mistakes and then we get good at things. We have okay. to be bad at it before we can get good. All right, I'm gonna be fine with being bad at it in front of the entire aviation world today. Yeah. All right. And I just, can I get a little credit for that though? That like it's gonna, like everyone is gonna oh, yeah. see me do this? The chops are there. We see it. All right. We see it already. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna embrace that not knowing what's happening and I'm gonna just do my best. What do you think? Embrace the suck, bro. Embrace the suck. What, what do you think? You're gonna do awesome if you obey instruction to a T. The actual act of, of flying these aircraft is, uh, it, it's incredible the feeling that you get. Cause I mean, it's, it's, you know, people, there's a lot of people that fly aircraft and, and then look at flying these, but the, the, the difference between this and sitting in a cockpit is like the difference between, you know, riding in a big truck and then riding a unicycle. Like a unicycle, you have, you know, it's so much more open. You have so many, wait, so much wait, more. Wait, how many unicycles have you ridden? Not a single one. Okay, no. all right, continue. I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing it's like that. It's the, it's the best metaphor I can come up with. Backwards and inflate, keep going, come on back, keep going, good, keep going, move right, move right, nope, keep moving backwards, pull your left hand, big left hand, there we go, all the way down, good. Now this time we're going to do that just slightly more aggressively. So yeah, knuckles to knuckles, elbows out straight, and let's inflate, 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 come to me, good, keep going, inflate, keep going, release the A's, there you go, move left, pull left, nice, hands up a little higher. There you go, move backwards faster. Move right, pull right, and big brakes, back pockets, both hands. Yes! Good job, dude. That was exactly it. Inflate, inflate. Move left, move left, move left, inflate, release. There we go, hands up a little higher. Nice, elbows down, move right, pull right. Let off, move it back to center, and big brakes. Nice. So we saw how when we pulled that right brake way down, that, the glider went whoa, whoa, way over there. This glider is gonna pull a lot harder. Okay, so we wanna really concentrate on keeping those elbows locked out and kind of standing our ground. We don't want this glider to pull us towards it. We wanna keep that glider moving above back us. above us. And you can see this wing is like almost three times larger than the wing we were just playing with. So of course it's gonna have basically three times the horsepower. Keep moving backwards, release, little bit of brake pressure down. Move right, pull right, oh, right on. If that was a 10, let's reduce it down to a six in the intensity. And then as soon as that glider comes overhead, we wanna release those A's and yeah. kinda of tap the brakes. So we wanna- Keep it from surging over. Exactly. So we're just gonna tap the brakes and get those hands back up in the green zone. Okay. Very good work. Wait, release, move right, pull right. Brakes down. There we go. All the way down. Let's inflate. Release, move right, move right, pull right. There it is. Left hand up higher, hands up higher. A little bit more brake pressure even. Move right, pull right, left hand. And we're gonna just slowly inflate this time. We don't have to be aggressive at all. Good. Move right, release, big brakes. Back up, move left, pull left, right hand up. Nope, up towards the pulley. There you go, move it, there it is. Hands up a little bit closer to the pulley here. Here? Nope, in here. Move right, pull right. Good, pull that right. Now release it, back up, at big brake. Don't let that glider overshoot you. Move left, right hand up. Big brakes, back pocket. Good job. Good work. That's cool. Nice job, dude. Walk, step to, there you go. Get that tension off the glider. Whew. Dude, can you come train with us? Oh, yeah. And you know, he's listening. <laughs> You're doing advanced kiting moves just from what's coming out of my mouth. Nice. So that's fantastic. Woo, that was, that was a workout and a little intense occasionally, but like, that was hella fun. <laughs> that was great. Andrew's, uh, where's Andrew? There's Andrew, he's helping me out. He says I did all right, I'll take it. I'll take the compliment. But uh, wow, 
That is, that was fun. All right, there's Xander, he's putting, he's doing the hard, he's putting the wing away for me. I'm assuming because I would probably muck it up. But anyway. Actually, uh, we can talk through it if you want. You want, he wants to teach me. All right, real quick, I'm gonna, you can teach me, but I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you guys like this video, like, subscribe, hit the dingle dangle bell. If you're watching on EAA's channel, come over to Super Arrow. We'd love to have you the rest of the year. Day two, air venture in the books. Can it get any more insane than this? I don't know. All right, I gotta go.